What if Raggedy Ann became a pregnant man? <laughs> a poll, a survey, not a person from Poland, Cat, found that parents want toys to educate their children about serious world issues. The survey conde conducted on behalf of the Toy Association. What the hell is that? Found that 63% think toys should teach kids about bullying. 48% said they should tackle cultural representation. 44% said parents, they should value racial justice in playtime. Of course, that could be fixed by giving fewer toys to white kids. And one in six parents rated their own toys when they were children as poor or fair when it came to inclusivity and representation. The other five replied, what the hell is wrong with you? <laughs> But times have changed. Back in the 80s, Barbie had long hair, big boobs, short skirts, and hooker heels. Now it's Ken. <laughs> His dream house has a back door and a glory hole. I don't know what that means, honestly. Says a toy association executive, with so many toys that raise awareness about social issues and other causes like environmentalism, there are countless opportunities to start a dialogue with kids on how to create a more caring, an inclusive world. Shut your pie hole, you big phony. I prefer the good old days when you learned real life lessons from real toys. For example, I learned that pet rocks can be thrown at neighbors. <laughs> I learned that monopoly means you'll choose money over family. <laughs> Lawn darts taught me that the human eye makes a funny sound when it's punctured. <laughs> and last, I learned that weebles wobble, but they won't make your dad come home. I told you that in confidence. <laughs> is there anything worse than a woke toy? Do you have yeah, woke toys? Yeah, no. Uh, there's the only thing worse than a woke toy is a woke parent. Mm. Toys aren't going to do your job for you, okay? Mm -hmm. And when you get, when you kids get toys, it's imagination time, and they're playing, and they're being creative. So the toy's not going to do a job for you. When I was a kid, there was like, there was G.I. Joe, and there was Transformers, and there was He-Man and all this stuff, and then... All of a sudden, they came out with Captain Planet and teaching you that to pick it. up litter. Nobody wanted that toy. Yeah. Nobody wanted born ass Captain Planet. Like, hey, kids, you can clean up. They were like, kiss my ass. I'm not cleaning up. I'm going to rule the world with Megatron. And the, it's your imagination and stuff. But this goes back to these bulldozer parents who want the toys to do the job for them. You should be the one speaking to your child about what's real and what's up and what affects them. Not like, wow, Mr. Potato Head's gonna explain to you about the birds and bees. No, yes. he's not. Oh. You know, and that's, and then shame on these parents. Oh. Could you imagine a woke Mr. Potato Head? Good night. It would be a for cucumber. <laughs> I wrote a list. Yes. I renamed all the, all the damn toys. <laughs> okay. Like I got the, the woke names for the new toys. How about this? Tickle Me Elmo is now inappropriate Touch Me Elmo. G.I. <laughs> Joe is G.N. Joe, gender neutral Joe. <laughs> Care Bears are now taxpayer assisted living bears. <laughs> Strawberry shortcake is strawberry sugar-free, gluten-free, hormone-free shortcake. <laughs> Teletubbies are Teleplus tubbies or widescreens. Transformers are still Transformers. <laughs> <laughs> Malibu Barbie is white privilege Barbie. Uh, and Curious George is now by Curious George. <laughs> so. You are... The toy industry should hire you. Well, I got one for Mr. Potato Head, too, because Tyrus, I got Mr. Potato Head is now Mr. Potato Harvested by Exploited Undocumented Workers Head. <laughs> and I got one more for the environmentalist. Yes. Thomas, the coal-burning, global warming contributing train. <laughs> Cat. Did you have any woke toys as a child? Did you have any toys as a child? I knew that you grew up in poverty. What? You played with sticks. <laughs> you played with sticks. I love playing with sticks, Sticks though. were great. Dirt? 
I love to play in the dirt, pretend I was one of the boxcar children. Aww. <laughs> we didn't have Hard to, to believe how jealous I was of the boxcar children, just because they didn't have a bedtime. <laughs> <laughs> they Hobos to, never had a They got bed. to solve mis- like, I, I always wanted to solve mysteries. Mm-hmm. And I would put up, like, our home phone number around the neighborhood to be like, if you need any help solving <laughs> crimes. <laughs> no one ever did. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there are a few men who called. They didn't call. <laughs> um, what else did I... I just used to, like, find, like frogs and snakes and stuff and bring them home. For a while, I was feeding all these stray cats. Uh, and, I, and I was so sad when they all left. And then I was even more sad, like two years ago, my dad admitted that's not exactly what happened. <laughs> <laughs> he sent them to their death. <laughs> my favorite toy was a jar of bugs. Yeah, me too. Yeah, fill up a jar of potato bugs. Yeah. yeah, they just crawl all over each other and you close it tight, just put it on your desk. You just work. This is about a couple years ago, like, I don't know. Yeah. Back when, uh, yeah, back when the five started, and I would just have my big thing of bugs. That's technically called a bug orgy, bro. Yeah. <laughs> yes, I wish. It was boring. Yeah, I must have, I should have thrown a few spiders in there to spice things up, you oh, know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. Death camp. <laughs> yes, <laughs> guy. I think Tyrus is right. It's the job of families to inculcate values. That's fine. Let the kids enjoy their toys. Let it be fun, and you can do, like, lesson learning a different time. And every time adults feel like they're tricking kids into learning something through fun, it's usually a failure, and the kids realize that they're being lied to or manipulated. I'm worried that the Toy Association has gone woke. That is frightening. That quote was disgusting. I'm going to write a book about how to be a good parent, and it's going to be called Imagination, Not Indoctrination. And I'm going to be on the cover like this. They'll go woke for Tell one Tell me I would Christmas. not be able to talk about that on Fox and Friends. Well, as long as on every cover, right there, you're like this. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, that angle. Yeah, yeah. Of and you like, had to look at the camera. And I'm inexplicably leaning against an AR-15. No, but <laughs> you mean that book, that book with that cover could also be called I Just Did a Silent Fart. <laughs> <laughs> we got to go. <laughs> Uh, they'll be woke for one Christmas. Yeah, that's it. And if no one buys it, they'll be back. There you go. All right, coming up, holding a briefcase left her scarred because she always plays the victim card. <laughs> hey, Sean Hannity here. Hey, click here to subscribe to Fox News' YouTube page and catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You will not get it anywhere else.